We'll be talking uh, carpentry exploration first up today because they're moving ahead with their flagship Horsens Iron project near Broken Hill. Now, current estimates have the company in production by 2014, although there's still many steps to take in the meantime. Executive Chairman Nick Sheard says they're currently waiting on a pre-feasibility study for the site. It's agonisingly close. We're in the final stages of it at the moment. Uh, it's still with the uh, consultants GHD, the engineering group who are performing the PFS. And we expect it out very soon, you know, within a week, I guess, weeks, I should say. Once it's out, we will then have to review it. So we'd probably be putting it out into the market in mid-May now after we review it with our joint venture partners. And what's actually happening on that particular site at the moment? Is there anything going on? It's all a bit quiet at the moment there because um, we've done all our drilling. We've we've rehabilitated the uh, work we did last up to Christmas time. And what we're cons- currently doing is environmental studies so that we get a, uh, a couple of seasonal, about four seasons worth of environmental data for our environmental impact study. I'm sure it'll probably depend on uh, the results you're waiting on at the moment, uh, but what is the latest estimate when it comes to production and, and what needs to happen in the meantime? There's a few stages that uh, have to happen. Basically, we need to go into the, uh, a, what we call a bank of built, bankable feasibility study. That needs to be the next stage, which will require a bit more drilling, a lot more engineering work and um, getting some bulk samples to do processing on. We also have to get a mining license approved by the government and then we um, will have to finish the BFS and if that's positive we'd like to uh, you know, we'd get into production as soon as we can. Now, answering your question, what we are saying be late 2014 would be uh, would be hopefully when it gets into a bit of production, about 6 million tonnes. It all depends on getting approvals and uh, positive outcomes to the feasibility study, though. Well, to steer away from Horsens for just a moment, uh, how are your other exploration projects going in the area? Well, we're going quite well. Still a bit slow because we're waiting on approval from the mines department to uh, a few of our exploration applications. However, what we are doing now is uh, looking at further iron projects up north of Broken Hill, a place we call McDougal's, which is about 100k north of Broken Hill. And we're looking for different sorts of iron up there. We're we're looking for hematite rather than magnetite. Our geological modelling suggests it's a similar sort of environment to the Horsens or the Braemar Iron Formation. But rather than being magnetite, it's hematite. So we're actually going to be up there mapping and sampling as we speak. We've also taken out an application over a, a large area, Coonanbury, we call it, where previous explorers had found nickel there, and we we wish to do a lot more work there and drilling there as soon as the applications are approved by the government. I guess the government, Having changed recently, there's a bit of a hiatus in the department at the moment. With all that in mind, you've touched on a few different resources that you're looking into there and, of course, the Horse and Zion project being the main one at the moment. Uh, Things have been a little bit shaky, I guess, on global markets of later following some of the terrible disasters we've seen in Japan and other areas around the world. Uh, How do you see the next few months going in terms of uh, markets? I think it'll be volatile, as you you suggested. Um, well, I, I'm, I still think it'll be pretty high. The marks will still be, remain pretty um, high and quite bullish. I was recently just up in China, and we it is just remarkable what's happening in that country. The building and just the continuous um, internal improvements that are going on means that there's an almost insatiable appetite for uh, base metals and iron. So I can't see that changing in the near future. I could see a few hiccups in Europe. But basically, there's still a strong demand. I think it'll just settle down over the next few months, I guess. Executive Chairman of Carpentaria Exploration, Nick Sheard.